Section 6 AA girls hockey, a semi-final matchup here. It's the number three seed, the Wyzetta Trojans, and the number two seed, the Blake Bears. Hi, I'm Jay Wilcox, along with Dan Ficken. And Dan, for Wyzetta, it hasn't been all smooth sailing. They had a little bit of a rough go in the middle part of the year, but they are playing very well down the stretch. And uh, a lot of people have seen them said this is a much improved team. And they are coming in with a lot of confidence here tonight. Well, and that's it. The, the confidence issue. They uh, had a rough going against Hill Murray, and it was that point the coaches told us took a different mindset. You know, don't play not to lose. Well, play to win. Just be confident and go after it. It's really done well for them. They've mixed up their uh, their high power players under the various lines. Their power plays really come through lately, and they got 13 players that have scored goals. So it's really panned out consistently over the last nine games. But they are seven and two right now. Blake, a usual good team for the Bears. They've been strong all season long. They've taken a few losses here and there, but uh, playing well. They beat Wyzetta three to two. That was very early in the season. Sounds like it was a, a pretty even game and a game that uh, you know both teams have grown since then. So it'll be interesting to see how different they do look from December until now in mid-February. Well, yeah, and you look who Blake lost. I mean, Andover and Breck and Edina. I mean, top ten teams all the way around. I mean, they've been very consistent. The coach is very happy with them. And uh, all throughout the year, they haven't had a real down spot, really. And uh, their main goal is, I asked them what's the key to the game. He says, score more goals than them. And that's how they play. They go score more goals. Offensive-minded group for sure for the Bears. Let's talk about key players to look at in tonight's game, starting with Wyzetta and Sloan Matthews had what could be a whole season worth of goals in the quarterfinals. She put up five against Osseo Park Center. Well, we've known her since, what, eighth grade she's been around? My God, she's been a great player, good goal scorer. I mean, she can find the net. She had five the other night. She's got 55 points, six power play goals. That's fabulous for a player. You can get that many in a, in a short season like they've had here. A good two-way player, moves well, smart hockey player but really good in the offensive zone. And for Blake, a player that's got to be on the short list of best players in Minnesota. She's headed to Cornell. Lily Delianidis is, is a very good one for the Bears. Boy, what a perky personality she was. We met her before the game, and she, uh, she's she got a whole lot of speed. Speed, 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 and she's done well. 78 points this year. She's really led him big time. Four power play goals, senior captain, Coach says, done everything a senior's supposed to do and leads this team really well. She's an exciting player to watch because she will roll. You watch her tonight. Wyzetta's been to this spot a few times, but lately they haven't been able to break through and get to this championship. I'm sure, again, a lot of outside viewers are looking at it and thinking, oh, it's going to be Diana Blake again. But Wyzetta right now is saying, you know what, This is we've got to go out and seize our opportunity. The way they've been playing the last nine games, I don't know. I wouldn't bet against them. Now it is Blake, but, you know, they said the one time we talked to them earlier in the season, their goal this year is to break through the sections and get the state. They stated it. I talked to four kids, and that was their undeniable goal. That's what they wanted to do. So don't count them out. If they play a good, consistent game with three solid lines, get some good goaltending, they could beat this Blake Bear team. All right, should be a good one. The winner gets Edina in the championship. The Hornets look very good in a semifinal win against Benilde St. Margaret's. Stay tuned. The puck drops in a moment here on CCX. It's the Trojans and the Bears. Welcome back here to Parade Ice Garden. There's the Wyzetta student section across the way as they are getting set to try and uh, cheer their team on to what they hope is a victory here against the Blake Bears as Blake, of course, moving up to AA a few years back and moving into this very difficult section six, but uh, they have certainly done quite well since moving up as, as uh, we expected that they would, and Wyzetta has been consistently solid, but they're trying to go beyond yep. solid into that 
that next grouping here. And obviously a win tonight would uh, be a big step toward that. But uh, not going to be an easy task against this very talented Blake team, even though Blake does have a lot of young players in their lineup as well. Yeah, they've got nine uh, freshmen and sophomores that play regularly on this team. Uh, so they're very young right now. Uh, but, you know, why is that right now? Their, their worst period throughout the season has been that first period. And if they can get over the hump here and keep it close, let's say tied, um, that'll be a victory for them because they get consistently better throughout the game. Blake's best period, the first period. So that'll tell a lot these first 17 minutes. Well, Section 6 AA is certainly one of the toughest in the state, maybe oh. the toughest. And we'll take a look at uh, how that bracketing is shaping up. And Edina pulling away to uh, put Benilde out here in the uh, semifinals. So I guess having a first round bye didn't exactly hurt the Hornets. Benilde defeated Creighton in that first round. And then you see the two nine nothing blowouts in the uh, these two teams had so the winner goes on to take on the Hornets on Friday night here back at Parade Ice Garden and uh, obviously gonna have a good champion coming out of this section no matter no matter who it is we were uh, impressed with Edina tonight for sure I mean even even against a good vanilla team they were they were every bit of as good as advertised they dominated the game front to back and just got on the scoreboard quick and just put them down and kept them going. Two-time defending state champion, looking for their third, but coming through this section gets you battle tested. I mean, these two teams right here can play with the Dyna. No, not necessarily beat them, but they can play with them. So, so this will be a good test for either one, both these teams. It was interesting talking with uh, Dean Williamson tonight and uh, Taylor Williamson, his daughter, the co-coaches for Wyzetta. There's Taylor there in the black and gray coat there and then they, they just really talked about how they needed this whole program to to get the mindset of feeling like we're as good as Blake we're as good as Edina we're as good as Minnetonka or just any of the teams we play and and to really play that way and they you know they they needed and felt like this this program just needs to be thinking that way yeah and have you know a little bit of swagger to them mm -hmm. in a good way it's it's time why not us why not us? I mean, it's it's time and, you know, good move because they've been stuck in this one rut and they needed to take that step. And mentally, I think that was the right move. We'll see tonight. But uh, I'm expecting a very good game tonight. There's Micah Bergeron who's kind of taken control of the net. Three players have, have played goal for Wyzetta this season. And see the uh, save percentage a little lower than maybe you'd like. She got a shutout on Saturday, but only had to make six stops. And at the other end, got the young goalie Molly Hag. And again, her below 90% on the save percentage, too. And they're kind of known more as an offensive team, but I think you're going to need to make some larger than uh, usual saves to win a game against these kind of quality opponents. So we'll see which of the two can come out and do that tonight. And we are underway here. Why is that at first possession, but not for long? And the Trojans get it back here as Matthew sends it ahead. This one will trickle down into the Bears zone. That pass knocked away as Addy Hackley stepped up now. Trying to throw it out front there for the Trojans was Gretchen Branton. Here's a wraparound try. Oh, and a good opportunity in close from Matthews. Yeah. And Haig is called on to make an early save. And you can see why Zeta didn't get a goal, but they were buzzing on that first shift. Well, they got Brandon and Matthews together on that line again. They're a couple to the top three scorers on the team. Boy, Matthews had a great opportunity there. Nice put up by Brandon. Back out to the point. Bears getting things set up across. Julia Blum's shot is blocked. Branton looking across for Matthews. Had to wait for it here, and she'll chip it in and head off for a change. Bears looking to come hard up the left side here, but that one got away. Ellie Scoro back to it first. Banks it ahead now looking for Sophie Urban. Urban throwing it back across. Scoro is swinging a miss, and then the follow-up goes to the corner. Isetta looking pretty aggressive here on these first couple shifts. They, you know, it's interesting. There's always that thing where, you know, they, to a degree, they want their players to think of this as just another good game, but at the same time, you know it's playoffs. You're at Parade Ice Garden, and you know that every shift is important right from the get-go. You can't make mistakes. 
Now, now we're playing with the big boys right now, the big girls. So there's no mistakes. They're going to be on the game. And I like them being aggressive. Like I said, play to win, not to lose. And that's exactly the way they're playing this right now. And they got Blake pretty well pinned in here. Sophie Heyer getting a shot away. Hag with a blocker stop on that one. And now here come the Bears up the left side. Susie Aguchi dumps it in deep. Centering try there was blocked. Hackley getting it over now to Heyer. Back to the Blake line as Bailey Abraham able to get that puck to settle. Floating it into the Wyzetta zone, and here's an opportunity. Nope, going to be played by a high stick. As Higuchi floating down that left side, they put the D in kind of a tough spot, fluttering that high pass, but the rule that this one was played by a high stick. Oh, she never touched it. She never that. touched it. Oof. Was it offset? No, it wasn't offside. No, he called high nope. stick. That was, wow. I said I got a break there. Well, there you go. You were talking about them being an offensive-minded team, the Bears, and there you go. I mean, you hesitate one minute. They're going to do everything they can to get behind you or drive by you. Blake winning the draw here and hammer it around. Pass is a little bit behind Delianitas, but now she gets it, and her shot goes just wide. Addie Hackley back there to play it. Bounces it out of the zone, so Blake had to tag up here. Couldn't play that puck right away. Here comes Matthews now up the right wing for YZ, getting a shot there. Branton retrieves it, looking down low for Sloan Matthews. Interesting that Coach Sean Reed said uh, anytime this Matthews, Branton, and uh, Coffin unit is out there, he's going to throw his first line out every time. So far, he's matched it up quite well. And they, they appear to be playing pretty evenly. I, there was a difference when the second and third lines got out there, though. Boys, that it tended to tilt the rink a little bit. Ooh, Higuchi throwing one on net there, and Bergeron had a little bit of trouble with it, and she will cover it up and hang on. So a face-off in the Wyzetta zone. Early on here in period number one, no score on the board as you get a look at Higuchi's shot from a shallow angle there, trying to sneak that one through the five hole. Boy, Higuchi's been sneaky, sneaky in this game, boy. She's all of a sudden showing up. You don't even notice her, and all of a sudden she's there with the puck. Big collision there, and no call coming. Nice stick at center ice there to knock, trap that one down by Georgia Pettigrove. Should have been offside, yeah. So the draw coming outside the YZ blue line here. Goldenberg got knocked down here, I think, in this collision. Look in the upper part of your screen there. Yeah. Bang. Oof. Kind of blindsided, really. Urban landed on top of her as well. Trainer over to have a little word. How many I, fingers am I holding up? Uh, I think the feeling, uh, I'm you know, speculating for the officials that, that they felt it was just a collision, not a, an intentional check there. So. Yeah, and I would agree with that. After you saw the replay there, no problem. I, I don't think there's any issue there at all. Well, in watching a little bit of the first game here tonight and then watching, ooh. A, ooh, there's a shot going just wide, a semifinal in Section 5 to play. They're letting him play more in playoff time, I think, is the general rule of thumb. Another collision there. The Bears fans wanted a call as uh, Addie Burton was knocked down. This is going to be icing against the Trojans. I think overall, a game that is loosely called probably favors YZ, a little bit grittier team, maybe not quite yep. as fast overall. Especially for a player like Urban, and she is gritty, and she's she's tough, and, and she's strong. And she'll overpower you just as easily as finesse you. Grace Johnson in to take the draw against Urban, but why is what? that a, they throw Urban out? Okay. I'm not sure. I don't think it was Urban. I think it was her wing that was yeah. not heeding the call to get back. And uh, so they had enough and passed her out. Scoro yeah. missed on that breakout pass. Puck lays loose in the circle for a moment. Now a shot attempt there and stopped by Bergeron. Scoro sending it back around the other direction here for Schindler. Katrina Schindler picking it up. Back to Scoro. 
Well, and a couple of the co-captains for Wyzetta gave Scoro. They said she, it was her voice in the locker room after the first period when they fell behind Breck 3-0. That really got them going for so Ali Scoro getting a little uh, pat on the shoulder from her, a couple of her teammates said that she was the one who really got them back and refocused and ready to go for period two when they beat Bracken, the game we had for you on CCX late in the regular season. And a near Ooh. takeaway there by Branton. Matthews pursuing hard here. Branton and Matthews converge trying to take that puck away. Bears struggling right now to get it out. And a pass bouncing to center, but there's Addy Hackley stepping in to take it. Boy, tenacious. They are just tenacious. The Trojans are really going after them. They ain't messing around. I like what they said, too. We're going to stay in their jerseys. That was, a, a, <laughs> yeah. you know, not be awed by Blake. They want to be up and take away their space and not let them get those those wheels moving. Here comes uh -oh. Delianitas with speed right up the gut. Well played, though, defensively by Sammy Hackley that time. Sarah Adalan will lift it in for the Trojans. Adalan goes back and gets it herself here. No score on the board. About 10.45 to go in the first period. The winner will play Edina for the Section 6 title on Friday. Urban picked it up, had it jabbed away. Trojans will regroup here. Across to Schindler. Looking straight up the middle, deflected by Ellie Fornes, but now the Bears back hard the other way. Burton drops the pass off. Tried to get it back to her, but she had her stick tied up. And then Burton just picked a pocket of Schindler. Puck staying right along the blue line here, and the Bears will dump it back in deep and go after it again here as Schindler sending it around now to Abby, or, uh, Abby Prodal, that is. Instead, picked up by Audrey Wethington for Blake. Scoro looking to reverse it around to Branton. Tapped ahead there by Fornes, but Bears able to come up with the turnover at center ice, and then Wethington will dump it in and head off on a change. Well, Wethington and Burton for the Bears in that neutral zone really were flying. I'm telling you, the speed really got up. And they can create some space, and that's what Loisette has been doing. They've been taking away the space on him. Here comes Matthews with the shot. There Haig, is. and there's a rebound goal for the Trojans. Haig making the first stop as Loisette has Sloan Matthews breaking in, but then the follow-up is good from Mallory Coffin. Greeny. Gritty goal, I like it. A tenacious first line just really came through for the Trojans here. Got it down, like you said, Jay, a shot, but a rebound coming out, and bang, they slammed it over. There goes Matthews that got it. Now Coffin. Coffin got it. There's Matthews right there. She's the one who got the shot. Yep, Coffin coming in on the side there. Beautiful. Well, it's amazing what happens when your, your color jersey outnumbers the other jersey in front of the net, and that's exactly what happened. They just all went after it hard. Coffin getting her fourth of the season, getting uh, to play with Matthews and Branton here late in the regular season, and she's taking advantage of it there, puts it away, and there's a dollar with a shot on net. Right off the draw, they won it over to the right wing, and Dolan got the shot. Shows you how important Jay is not giving up rebounds out in this game. And should have, hey, should have covered that up real quick and just not given an opportunity. It bounced off her and boy, they banged it right in the back of the net. Matthews and Sammy Hackley will get the assist on Coffin's fourth of the year. 7.33, the time of the goal. And it's 1-0 Yzeta. Ruby Moss sends it into the bear zone and the Trojans will make a quick change. Well, so Grace far, the, Johnson, excuse me, Dan. No problem. The game plan for the Trojans is working well right now. They got a lead. They didn't want to get behind this team, so getting a lead is taken right where they want to be. Delianitas getting away a tough shot there, and Berger on the save. Petty Grove had it lost, and then Delianitas lifted the stick of Coffin. Wethington up with it. Trying to put it out front, but it was knocked away. Wethington gets it right back, though, to Delianitas. 
Knocked down in the corner. Bears fans asking for but not getting a penalty call there. Branton's one on three. Puck taken here by Abraham for Blake as she's chased back. Now Delianitas flipping it over to Wethington, or excuse me, uh, Burton. Well, that line for the Bears is starting to come alive. They were motoring that time, moving the puck. One got skipped out when Delianitas got knocked down. And that might be the only way to stop her. Pettigrove carrying it in deep here for the Bears. Nice little oh. exchange. Higuchi walking to the front, hits the crossbar. Great little setup there, and Higuchi had Bergeron beat, but hit the crossbar. Higuchi goes down there. Scoro up with the puck. To the line, but not out, and then Schindler blocks nice. that and hammers it down the rink. Was tipped, though, so no ice. Here's Abraham. Sammy Hackley interrupting that rush, but then it's picked up again here. Ellie Morrison brought it in for Blake. Sammy Hackley around to Addy Hackley. Good. And it's off of Urban, and it'll come all the way down, and Haig will cover this one up. 6.43 to go here in the first as you get a look at this great chance for Blake. Yeah, right off the top of the crowd. Higuchi, she just, like I said, she's sneaky. All of a sudden, you don't notice. All of a sudden, she's just there. And then she got knocked down in the corner there. But really, she had the front part of it. So I think she just leaned back on her skates a little too far. Battle for it here. And Coffin put it out front. It was tipped away from Matthews just as she was about to shoot. Now Branton tried to get it to Coffin, but that one hit a skate. And there's a nice play by Matthews to break that one up. Now this is interesting. They're double shifting the uh, first line for the Trojans and that's uh, forcing Blake to play that first line a little more. Delianita's dropping it for Wethington but just a bit out front of her there. Now Burton dropping it to Delianita shooting. And that one into the body of uh, Micah Bergeron here and she'll force a face off in the YZ zone here six minutes to go in the period there you get a look at Dean Williamson and Taylor Williamson the co head coaches for the Trojans be interesting you know if in fact they get through they're both products of Edina that's if, right if they happen <laughs> to win tonight they would be going against uh, the Hornets well we were talking to the Blake coaches about matching up lines here and uh I think the Trojans are wise to it. Their first line got about a minute rest. The first line for uh, Blake only got about 30 seconds because they got stuck on the ice after was that made a change. They had to go right back out again. Adalan will send it back out towards Sammy Hackley. Looking for a tip out front. It's blocked. And then hammered. But Hackley did a nice job keeping that puck in. Grace Johnson. With some room here for the Bears. We'll pound that one in deep and they go for check. Back for Johnson trying to put it out front. It bounces off a Gucci skate. Higher sending it out for Wyzetta. Back to the Blake line. Pettigrove grabbing it there. Now back for Pettigrove. Sending it around deep. Ellie Morrison back to try and get it for Blake. Now Higuchi. Drop pass there, but instead it's intercepted. Oh, nice. Shot attempt, and then a follow-up try there. As Prodal really fanned on the first one, but it worked out well as it fooled the D a little bit. Now lifted in by Blake's Sam Bros. Branton tipping it. Uh oh, that was a dangerous one, but they got away with it. Now it comes back to Gretchen Branton. Defender oh. falls. Branton scores! She was right along the sideboards there, and Haig must have been expecting a pass. That was a very shallow angle goal, and Branton gives Wyzetta a 2 0 lead. Wow. 
I'm a gog. My gosh. Really shadow angle shot. Good for Brynn. Boy, she put it on net, and that's what she's got to do. But she gets away nicer. The D falls here. It gives her an open lane to take a shot. And it just snuck in on the inside post. They get a good angle here. Oh, five hole. Might have got tipped by the D. Wow. Well, we talked about it, Jay. I'll tell you what. Don't count these Trojans out. And so far, the game plan's been working well for them. They've been aggressive, and they're taking advantage of every opportunity. It's going to be an icing call against the Bears right here. It kind of gets back to, you know, a shot on nets. Never really a bad play. It, you never know. Anything can happen. Well, we'll see how far the Bears get pushed back on their heels here. I'll well, be answering this now. Matthews and Prodal get assists on that goal. So the 24th of the year for Branton. Bouncing puck Ooh. here right out Ooh. front. Bears coming hard now. Wethington fires. That hits traffic. Rebound attempt by Delianidis. Burton picking it up. Try to put it out front. Wethington's pass bounces away, but Burton gathers it. And a couple of Bears got bottled up there together and have to regroup here. Pettigrove throws it around and they back they come. Delianita's trying to make a move on Sammy Hackley, but her sister Addie there to help out. Wethington trying to put it out front. That one was blocked. Under three minutes to go now in the first period and Wyzetta leading it two to nothing. Well, the line matching has kind of been shot to pieces here now for uh, the Bears, so we'll see how they re recover from this. Higuchi putting it onto the stick there of Morrison. Morrison shooting and a nice block there by Schindler. Trojans coming back the other way now with Higher, and her shot bounces wide of the net. Abraham back to pick it up for Blake. Throws it out to center and then relayed right back in. Spinning out of the corner now. They come back to the point. Schindler will play it down deep again. Smart play. Didn't bounce it off the shin pads. Of she just got it down deep. Nice play. Put it out front there, but never really got a shot on goal. Now it's Matthews picking it up here for Wyzetta. Turns the corner and then flipped it for Branton. Whoa, Whoa and Hay got to make a nice glove save as Matthews got away from her a little bit, so she dropped the pass back, and that was actually a very good scoring opportunity there for Wyzetta. But watch Hay here. She tracks it really well. Now watch the pass coming through from the back there, and Brandon's got it. And Hag just tracked it really well. She was on it now. Probably should have been out in her crease a little bit more. We'll watch to see if she sits back in that net a little bit more as the game goes on. But if she gets out in that crease and she keeps the angles that she needs, uh, she should be okay. She's not happy about the two goals that were scored on her. Went out front again. A Dolan shooting. Sammy Hackley stepping up to play it here. And now Johnson had to circle around as one of her teammates had crossed the blue line. Now Johnson carries it in. Drops a pass back. Kylie Gage turns and fires, but it goes wide. And that one will bounce out to center and dump back in. Under a minute to play. It's been a great first period for Wyzetta. They lead it two to nothing. And now Branton intercepts it. Two on two on the rush here as Matthews joins her. Branton trying to get it to Matthews, but a nice play to break that one up. And here comes Delianitas back the other way. Long one on net. Big rebound given there by Bergeron, but 
And it hops over the stick of Burton and out to neutral there and Abraham will dump it back in. Under a half minute to play now in this first period. Oh and across for Burton. Burton to the front back and she scores. Just when you thought Wyzetta was going to go with a two goal lead into the intermission. Pass to an open wing and Burton. I actually thought she made a mistake by not shooting it exactly. immediately, but she yeah. had a lot of confidence yeah. in her own stick handling there. Good pick up there, boy. Yeah, she's been rolling though. That last half of the period, she has really been rocking here. Nice play here. Coming across. There, she makes a great move and she goes to that backhand and shelves it. That's a beautiful goal. A lot of kids don't do the backhand shot that much. And when I sit the forehand, though, there's why you do the eight, the backhand. 26th of the season for Burton, and boy, did Blake need that oh one. A boy. huge shot in the arm for the Bears as they're able to go into the intermission just down one instead of two on a great goal by Burton. So we have reached the end of period number one here at Parade Ice Garden. Section 6AA semifinal girls hockey, a good first period. It's Wyzetta 2 and Blake 1. We'll be back with more of our coverage here on CCX. CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button and from there choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports, and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. Cold outside, but things heating up inside here. A great hockey game so far. 2-1 to one, YZR our score after one period as we take a look at some highlights from that opening period of play. And overall, a very strong period for YZ. Here's an opportunity in close as a wraparound try. And nice stop there by Haig in the early going. And then uh, Higuchi getting a shot on net there for the Bears. And then Matthews carrying it up the left side here. Got away a good quality shot there. And then Coffin able to bang the rebound in as Haig tried to cover it with her glove but couldn't quite get it done. So Trojans taking a 1-0 lead on that goal. Great play here. A little interchange in Higuchi. Hits the crossbar for the Bears. And then the defender falls and Branton firing and that is definitely one that Haig would like to have over again as she snuck it in between the pads from uh, right along the sideboards there. So a 2-0 lead but Blake was not done as they get a pass across here and a great move to the net and then a backhander under the crossbar by Burton. That one came with only 18 seconds to go in the period too. That was huge for Blake to get themselves going a little bit. And you see the uh, shots pretty even, slight edge in scoring chances, no penalties in that first period. And so we'll see how things stack up for period number two here. If Blake will take a little momentum from that late goal or for Izetta can kind of resume control as they played a strong first period. We'll be back with that second period here in just a moment on CCX. When I was your age, I was just like you, fascinated by stars. Whoa. But now I get to search for life in the universe. And who knows, maybe life is looking for us too. So we're like aliens to them? Yeah. Does anyone want to be a scientist now? I do. Awesome, we need more girls in STEM. Maybe we can find aliens. Welcome back. Edina gets the winner of this second semifinal as the Trojans and Bears have a couple of periods to go. And damn it, I don't know about you, but it felt like that goal by Blake late 
really changed the mindset probably for both teams going into that first intermission. I mean, you, st you don't want it to let it affect you too much, but if you're Blake, I think that really gave them a shot in the arm after kind of being outplayed in that first period and maybe being back on their heels a little bit. Well, you could see them slumping a little bit there with about three minutes left to go, and then finally they push through. But, you know, the warning there, too, for what is that is that, you know, be afraid. These guys can score at any time. You know, you played a good period, and yet you're only up one goal when you came up two zips. So um, this game is far, far from over. I'll be interested to see the coaching changes that happen now. Why is that has got to stick to their skin tight, in your jersey type defense that they played. They made one mistake and it cost them a goal. Burton got away from one of them. And you think back too to that one Higuchi hit the crossbar on. That could have been easily a, a goal for Blake, obviously, on that play too. It was such a beautiful play with the way she yep. they, they, uh, you know, took both defenders with and then dropped it off to Higuchi. And Coach Reed did tell us that he thought it would probably take four or five goals to win this game tonight. He expected to see some offense. Yep, shot attempt there was blocked. Branton picking it up. Well, Blake's averaging four and a half goals a game, and, and Loisette is an even flat four goals a game, so wouldn't surprise me to see eight goals easy. Shot attempt there is blocked. Matthews picking it up. That one never made it to the net. And then it is deflected up into the netting above the glass here. So face off coming up in the Blake zone as you look at Sean Reed there in the middle and kind of a spot where he expects his team to be. And Wyzetta said, this is where we expect to be now all the time too. But, and uh, you know, obviously they want to take that next step and at least get to the final and give themselves an opportunity. But Blake, very formidable challenge here tonight. Turnaround try by Coffin there. Bears looking to break it out. Now flicked ahead. Weddington sending Delianitas. Partial breakaway. Here she comes to the net. Oh, and stop. Bergeron got the skate out and is able to deny De Here we Delianitas. Go. Did I, did I happen to mention that Delia Minas was fast? Did, did I mention that earlier? Holy buck, she pulled away there big time. Great little offside. move, too. That one's offside, but uh, yeah. Bergeron mm -hmm. stuck with it. See ya. Nice move there. Yeah. Oh, got that leg out. Nicely played. Kicked it right off her stick. Dragged it across, mm -hmm. looking to tuck that backhander away, but good move with the left. Skate there, Bergeron able to deny it. Now, on the one hand, you're excited that you made that save, but on the other hand, you know that giving one of Blake's best players breakaways is not going to be a good thing for <laughs> your team for the rest of the night, too. Doc, it hurts when I do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. You're right. Trojans control the draw here, dumped out to center. Hand pass called there. Boy, these Blake D falling down is, uh, that would scare me a little bit. And the hand pass takes it down deep inside the Blake zone here, so good opportunity for the Trojans. Oh, gee. There's first line is coming back out again. Off the draw around to Burton. And here comes Delianitas again. She has Wethington with her. Fires and a pad save there made by Bergeron. Comes back to Delianitas. Fires and scores, and we're tied. Well, she was stopped on two great chances already in the period, not on the third. Because you don't turn the puck over in your own zone when Delianitas is on the ice. Boy, she can motor. Finally got a good opportunity. He's had three great opportunities here in the first two minutes of the second period. Good shot there. Good save. And then yeah. we see the turnover right here. Oh, nice shot. Coming back across her body to the right-hand corner. Nice shot. So just like that, the Bears tie it up as they have come out very strong here 
early in the second period after getting one with 18 seconds to go in the first. And we are even up at two. Branton dropping it back for Coffin, and she scores! Trickling through the glove of Haig, and Wyzetta retakes the lead as Coffin will get her second of the night. Well, Branton made the good play here. She got in behind that Breck or the Blake D and then started driving into the zone. D was catching up to her, and she put the brakes on. The D went right by her, made a great pass to Coffin, who just ripped one. Watch Branton's play. He got behind him. Now watch the brakes right there. Gave her enough room to make a pass to see Coffin and just ripped it. Oh, slipped underneath the arm. Hag there. Oh, it deflected off the D, too, yeah. so it changed direction on her. You think these two first lines can play some hockey? You know, it's Blake automatically went right away, made a change, got a, got a tying goal, and then they come right back. The Trojans do with their number one line, and bang, they bang another one in. So Wyzetta doesn't hang their head after their Blake tied it. They come right back with a goal of their own just 27 seconds later. Burton getting the lone assist on Blake's goal. Boy, good work there by Sloan Matthews. Just got tied up and hit her own teammate coming around the back. But boy, that is remaining aggressive here, and I think they have to. They just got to stick to the game plan. It's been working so far. Branton and Matthews get the assist on Coffin's goal, her second of the night and fifth of the season. And I think we're going to get a first penalty here. Delianitas' goal was her 44th, and this is going to be Ali Scoro getting the gate here. I believe it's going to be for a body check. Surprisingly enough, with as much firepower, you can see here the check all well, got the elbow up a little bit. As much as Blake has scored, they've got 113 goals this year. They've only scored eight power play goals this year, Jay. The power play has not been very good. Face off here in the YZ zone. Bears win it as they look to tie things up. Called it for interference. Elianidis looking for the tip there to get that puck tipped. Matthews trying to come out of there with it. Bears get it back though. Burton sending it over to Wethington and back up top. Here's Delianitas dropping it across. And that shot sails wide. Delianitas retrieves it here for the Bears. Shooting, and that one goes just wide. And Wethington takes it away. There's a shot and a stick save by Bergeron, and the Trojans able to clear as Blum comes back to get it for Blake. Audrey Wethington. Delianitas tipping it ahead, but then Matthews knocked it out. Delianitas back up with it. And a nice diving point. play by Branton. Good effort there. Pass coming ahead. Brought in by Morrison. That shot attempt blocked by Addie Hackley. And Hackley able to dump it down the rink. Branton working hard on the penalty kill there, trying to bother that one as they come up ice. Now ahead to Morrison. Morrison leaving it for Higuchi. She'll drop it back to the point. Grace Johnson rotates it around. Now out front, a redirect there. Knocked aside. 15 seconds to go in the power play here for Blake. They haven't scored, but moved the puck very well. 
Across here, Grace Johnson from the circle. That one sails wide. Back out top again. And this one is blocked and right out of the box. Scoro takes the pass. Had a little trouble controlling the puck though and Haig able to glove that one and hang on. So Scoro saw a golden opportunity but the puck wouldn't really settle for her. As you see that shot right into the body of, I believe it was Coffin. Yep. Nice play though. Nice heads up play. Saw Scoro got her going. Um, Blake had a couple good opportunities, a couple good shots in there I thought were quality moments, but uh, boy, you know what? I like the way Bergeron's playing in net for the Trojans right now. She's really on top of her game. She's mobile on that crease, and she's keeping her angles good. Adal and up with it here for YZ. Gets the return pass and then goes back to the point. That puck tipped into the corner. Back out to center. Scoro will send it right back in, and then we're right back out. Tipped in a battle for the puck here as Kylie Gage went in hard after it for Blake. Oof, and then Casica falls hard there for the Bears. Scoro picking it up here for YZ. Uh oh, a turnover here. Oh, a quick shot. Berger on the stop. Why is that a coughing one up and it nearly wound up in the net. Bank pass ahead and Trojans able to come up with it there. Rink wide pass. Ruby Moss getting it to Matthews and her shot denied by Abraham. Boy some good blocking going on by the Blake Bears there too. Some of the shots aren't getting down there like they were before. That's where Wyzetta was living here early in the game but boy they're not getting much room down there now. Branton comes away with it. Gretchen Branton sends it in around behind the net. Matthews tied up back there. Return toward Matthews picked off and here comes Wethington now. Delianitas right up the middle. Delianitas to the net and it goes just wide. Then she sent it back in front and Branton able to pick it up. Matthews Lost it. Here come the Bears again. Wethington for Delianitas. Drops it off. Backhand try by Burton and the stop there by Bergeron. Turnaround try by Wethington is deflected wide. And then dumped down the rink here. Going to be an icing call against Wyzetta. They didn't end up scoring there, but Blake again flashing that skating and stick handling ability. Well, this first line of Wetherington, Dinalitas, and uh, Burton is absolutely fantastic. They can all skate, stick handle, move on. And they know where each other are, Jay. They're moving the puck very well to each other. I wasn't so sure on the initial look, but on that replay, I think Blake could have certainly had a yep. case for a penalty being called there. In the back check, Coco Crandall got the stick in pretty good on Delianitas. And I think now we've got a... A stick that was a Blake stick wound up in Wyzetta's bench, it looks like. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> have to go get they're, it. Not, they're not too mad about it. There's some laughter going on there. As it floated toward the front, knocked down, pucks loose. Scoro comes in to pick it up for the Trojans. Banking it off the glass, knocked down there and sent back in. Blake had to touch up. The pace has picked up, and you can see Blake's really skating right now. They've got Wyzetta back on their heels a little bit. Yep. Trojans protecting a 3-2 to two lead. Thrown to the front there. Now Higuchi. Into the high slot, and that one sailing up over the top of the net on the shot by Morrison. And that one is going to be a penalty. As knocked down from behind there was one of the Bears... And we'll get a cross-checking penalty issued to Schindler of Wyzetta. Draws. He's knocked down. See, so, you now this line all of a sudden is picking up. Gucci was playing very well in the first period. Now the rest of her line mates have caught up. So now that Blake's got a second effective line now playing. And you bet that's a penalty. 8.27, the time of the cross-checking minor. Blake right back to the power play here.
Slam down deep. Burton spinning away, trying to put it out front. That one was blocked. Oh, now we're going to have a penalty the other way as Abraham got the puck back, but not legally as she'll be called, I believe, for a hook. Wow, there's an opportunity gone. Starting to get a little bit more physical and rough here, uh, more so than the first period. A lot of good skating in the first period. Get a little chippier in the second. Watch right here as Abraham gets the puck back via the hook. So that one coming to 17 seconds after the penalty on Wyzetta. Back out to the point. Matthews throws it in deep. Wethington whipping it across. And kicked on out of there by Matthews. And now here comes Burton. Burton trying to drag it around the D. Never really got a shot away. And we're going to have a penalty coming up here against Blake as she ran into the goaltender. Now Urban fires off the tip Oof. of the glove there of Hag. And now we get our penalty whistled against the Bears. Probably going to be goaltender interference, I would think, here as Burton will pick up the penalty. And she's kind of contesting it, but you can't go in there. Goalies are protected individuals. It's like a quarterback. Watch her make a great move here again. Coming in. Yeah, and she took her out. And it's not intent on that, Jay. Once you're in that crease area and you touch that goalie. So I think it was a good call. So you're playing four and three here now. Matthews had a good opportunity, but blocked. Wethington trying to get it out, but couldn't. Now out front, Branton over to Matthews. Oh, and Hayes with, with a tremendous stop. Oh, my gosh, what a save. Delianitas coming back the other way, one on two. And that will be a penalty against Wyzetta. Oh, wow. Floodgates are opening penalty-wise now. And now it's exactly. Sammy Hackley's turn to complain. You got to be kidding me. What a great opportunity here, and what a great save by Hag there. Got herself back and across. Oh, no. Yeah, she Good got the call. stick in there. She did. You bet she did. We can see from our angle just hands here, and I was thinking, my gosh, okay. Good call. So you look good look at the board. We've got penalties galore. <laughs> Couple on each team. So I think we're gonna have what a 22 second uh, power play at the end here for Blake. I think you get both benches now and coach is just like, okay, girls, settle down now. Let's play our game. Matthews working her way into the zone. That shot is blocked. Urban hustles in after it. Across to Branton. Branton makes a move. Shooting, but that one is blocked. Now Urban getting a shot oh. away, and that one just missed the top corner. What a great move by Urban here. Branton picks it up. Wyzetta, now there's another opportunity. As the Trojans are one player short, they have a four on three advantage for just a few seconds more. There's Haig with the stop. And she's able to dive on and cover it up, as now Blake is one player short, and things Stay heated in front of the net there. Some great Boy, opportunities for Wyzetta. 
Oh, but then Urban, you could see it on her. The noise you just made was about what Urban was thinking at the same time there. She made such a great move, but then couldn't get it on net. You think there's a budding uh, rivalry coming starting here, Jay? I mean, just uh, the physicalness of that they're playing against each other is uh, really picked up this period. Well, and Haig has come up really big with a couple of stops here, too, to keep it at a one-goal game. I think that uh, rest between the first and second period settled her down a little bit. I think she's a little shaky in the first period, but she's played very well this period. Across here, ooh, and there's a stop by Bergeron as there was some traffic out front. Shot from the point by Blum there, getting all the way through. So in 12 seconds, Blake will be at full strength. And Wyzetta will have to kill off about 22 seconds worth of penalty time. All right, did the math good that time. Oh, clean win off the draw, and the shot, though, goes just wide. Try to go to Branton. Ooh, and that one was nearly a turnover as Abraham stepped up. And that one up into the crowd. Blake is to full strength now. Well, they got that first line back out there again, and Burton was in the box, so that'll take... Uh, Put her back out there. So their first line is totally intact. The first power play is intact. And they got 18, 18 seconds to work with here. Burton drops it back. And that shot by Abraham just over the net. Pass way across. Delia Nita shooting and the stop made. Wyzetta back to full strength as Sammy Hackley rejoins the fray here. But the Bears have a little momentum. That shot going wide. Johnson dropping it toward Wethington and then jabbed to the front. Here's Sloan Matthews picking it up. Floating one for Branton up the left wing. Branton shooting and it handcuffed Haig a little bit. Battle for it at center. Dumped in by Ellie Morrison for the Bears. 4.35 to go here in the second. Wyzetta leading it 3-2. Each team has scored a goal here in the middle period. Blake came out very strong and tied it up early, and then Wyzetta answered 27 seconds later. Oh, nice move by the D there. Yeah, Pettigrove looked like he was in a little trouble, but stayed calm. This shot sailing up over the top. One thing Blake maybe in hindsight would like to do a little bit better is they've been missing the net on some of these shots, not really giving themselves a chance at a rebound yeah. opportunity. Totally agree with that. That one bouncing away as it hit Fornes in the back. And then they're offside here, so... Face-off coming up, it kind of feels like everybody taking a little break now, just like a deep breath, both teams and also the fans. It's gotten really quiet in here for the moment. Well, it's the, the intensity had to be brought down. Too many people are going into the box, and they, they, they were getting away from the hockey. Both teams are, you know, like to play. And But that, I, you know, it might have been the Blake's favor. I, I really think that right now because they're, they're playing way better than they did in the first period. Here's Sophie Urban leading the rush, and that one directed away. It hit the netting. So face-off coming up in the Blake zone. She knew Adalin was coming up the other side there and didn't want to give her any kind of rebound, but I don't think meant to put that one out of play. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of interested, too, to see why Zeta, they, when they get across that blue line, they're looking to shoot right away. They're trying to put a lot of rubber on Hag. Puck loose oh. in front. Matthews reaching for it. Penalty coming up against the Bears. And then that shot deflecting up and out of play. And now we're going to get our slashing call given to Blake. So Wyzetta will go back to the power play. 
as Abraham will pick it up right in front here. Yes, as Matthews tried to get that shot away. Well, this would be Wyzetta's first clean power play for two minutes unless something obviously happens. 22 power play goals by the Trojans this year. Had a pretty good power play. Uh-oh, here comes Delianita, shorthanded. Got the shot away, but pretty good job on the back check by Sammy Hackley. Hackley got her feet moving that time to keep up with it. She knew who was coming down there and did a good job on that. Burton, her pass was deflected. Trying to get it out, but couldn't. Addie Hackley across to Sammy Hackley. Ooh, and looking weak side for Urban. Delianita's trying to chop it past Hackley, and then the second opportunity, they do get it out. Bears will make a quick change with three of their four penalty killers. Sammy Hackley carrying it in for YZ, but had her pocket picked. Bears looking to counter the other way. And taken back, though. Here comes Matthews. Branton joining her. Matthews tried to play it through Grace Johnson, but couldn't. And it's cleared. But Bears with a really aggressive penalty kill here, doing a good job. They're just not letting Wyzetta get any foothold at all to move that puck around. Well, and I think part of that is just the fact that they're, you know, got a good skating team. They yes. can close quickly. Back out to Scoro. Oh, and Ooh. that deflection hit. Iron at the outside of the goal post. Back it comes again to Scoro. She'll tee it up. Ooh, right into Wethington. And Audrey Wethington the block. And then she gets up, leads the rush the other way. That shot attempt is blocked. Wethington picking it up here. Putting one on that. Berger on the save. Aguchi was there. Only eight seconds remaining now in the power play for YZ. Wethington with a Pro style block got right down on her knees, faced up to the puck, and just took it. Did a great job and relieved the pressure and got an opportunity. This game's, this game's had good pace, even with all the whistles and the penalties we had there for a while. It's still moving really quickly. That one deflects wide. And Blake is back to full strength. Here's Branton. She's going to lift it on in. Blum sending it ahead. One minute to go in the period here. Still 3-2 to two Wyzetta in the Section 6AA semifinals late in period two. Addie Hackley back to get it. Now to Branton. Uh-oh, turned it over. Delianitas. And it slid away from Burton. Gloved and dropped there and thrown to the front. Ooh, oh, and a nice. bouncing puck. Got in on Bergeron. And then Burton goes down and flop. Yeah, it was a little hard to tell if. You see, this, uh, that's a. <laughs> those are a little scary for the goaltender. She had good position, though. I mean, she took it square in front on her, on her body, center point, and just did a nice job. That's been why she's been playing so well tonight. She's just she's just playing the angles well and centers up. This, I tell you what, this number one line for Blake is impressive. Very impressive. Shot attempt there blocked. 30 seconds to go now in the period. Blake got one in the last 30 seconds of the first to pull within two to one. Ooh. Branton trying to tip it around the D and go in alone. Now here comes Delianitas. Backhanding it to Wethington, throwing it out front. Delianitas up with it. Shot attempt was blocked. Boy, they're having a lot of trouble getting pucks through. Wyzetta doing a nice job of blocking shots. Matthews a long attempt, and that one will go wide. And we have reached the end of period number two. That one a little different period in terms of a lot of penalties. Things got heated for a while. But each team scored one goal. So after two, it is Wyzetta three, Blake two. We'll be back with more of our coverage here of 6 AA girls hockey on CCX Sports.
welcome back. An enjoyable game so far. YZ leading Blake by a score of 3-2 to two after two periods of play as we check out some highlights from period number two. And it was another eventful one, although in slightly different ways. We had some great saves. We also had some uh, few penalties. This was a great stop by Bergeron. Delianidis on a partial breakaway and gets the left skate out and just denies her as she dragged the puck around on the backhand. Then a stop here, but Wyzetta can't clear it as a pass hit a skate. Delianidis makes him pay. A minute 50 into the period. It was quickly 2-2 two two as the Bears battled back, but Wyzetta Branton sliding it back across. Coffin shot deflecting and then in off of Haig. That one came just 27 seconds after Blake's goal made it 3-2. to two. Some opportunities late. That was on a three-on-three. Three. A great stop there by Haig. And then uh, a penalty drawn right here as Matthews tried to backhand it away, or put the backhander away, I should say, but a penalty call against Blake on that one. You see the shot. Slight edge for the Trojans. Uh, we Each team took three penalties in that second period, although we ended up with no power play goals out of it. We've got 17 minutes to go here in this one. The winner advances to the Section 6 final on Friday night to face Edina. It's Wyzetta 3 and Blake 2. Great goal, some great saves in those first two periods and uh, promises to be a very good third period ahead here as Wyzetta leads Blake 3-2 to two heading into this third period. The winner goes to the section final to take on the Edina Hornets. And it'll be interesting to see the, the early part of this period. Boy, Blake came out on fire to begin period two. But Wyzetta answered with a goal yep. of their own, even yep. though the, you know Blake had really dominated their early moments of play. And so they restored that lead pretty quickly. They didn't ever have to, you know, sit and worry about that Blake had tied it up because they answered right away. Matthews picking it up here for the Trojans. Now Delianidis coming back the other way, floating that pass ahead, but it was blocked. Now Branton. Branton Ooh. firing and missed the net there for Wyzetta. Ooh golden opportunity here. Boy, I tell you, Branton's been all over the ice tonight. She's created some good opportunities. Matthew shot blocked. Now gets it back again. Branton looking for the tip. Boy, those two worked so well together. And then the pass back to the point. Sammy Hackley giving it back to Branton. Back down low for Matthews. Sloan Matthews sending it out top. And that shot sails into the corner. Sammy Hackley pinching in and comes up with it. Hackley to the backhand. And a stop there. Now the Bears able to break it out to center, but then broken up by Adalan. And Urban got a piece of that pass. 
Well, Dumpton. Rosetta doing a great job here, just keeping them all bottled up. Urban, nice pass back. And across for Adal, and it gets away from her. Sophie Urban had it, lost it. Dump back to center. Trojans go again here. Scoro. Tipped in there by Moss, but the Bears get it right back. Grace Johnson. Lost it as it's chopped to the corner. Battle for it along the wall. Johnson came up with it briefly. Urban knocked it back, and then the shot from the point goes wide. Bears force a turnover, then a pass out top. Looking for Johnson, but that one was intercepted. Schindler back the other way for Wyzetta, but Johnson got a piece of that. Boy. Here's Gage, shooting, directed away by Bergeron, over to Coffin. Coffin to Matthews. As Branton as a trailer puts a shot on instead. Coffin down low for Branton. Sammy Hackley giving it to Coffin and she puts one on net. Haig directs that to the corner. Branton working her way out of there. Or excuse me, make that, uh, yeah it was Branton. Yep. Now around it comes, Wethington couldn't quite get it. Now Wethington trying to get it out, did not. Shot deflected and Haig will cover it up as, Brand, as a little jab given to her by Heyer. Well, I said it to get another nice job breaking the pressure down low. Good smart play defense in front of the net. Got a good breakout, got it back down into the zone and kept it in there and got a chance to make basically a line change while they're in the zone. So um, they're answering pretty much everything Blake's been throwing at him so far, Jay. Urban wins the draw back to Addie Hackley, trying to put it out front. It comes now to Sammy Hackley, but lost it briefly and lost an opportunity at a shot there. Now Higuchi leading the rush. Come right up the middle. It just trickled away there from Sam Bros. Addie Hackley over to Sammy Hackley. Now Urban up with it. Addie Hackley and that one's intercepted. Oh, and just offside as Higuchi was trying to get back out of the zone and didn't quite make it in time. Not a real great flow to the beginning of this third period here. It was kind of just a little back and forth. And yeah, they're trying. I mean, they're trying to bust some passes loose. They're just not connecting very well. And and the only thing I noticed too watching the Adina game earlier, really, the way that Adina snapped their passes, they were hard, they were effective and on the stick. In this game, if they're a little lazy, somebody jumps on it from the other team. Uh, we've seen a number of turnovers because of that. Adalan working her way out. And a nice step up there to break that one up. Riley Winters doing the job there for Blake. Burton carries it in. Dropped it for Wethington, but lost it. Here comes Matthews back the other way for Wyzetta. Battled through a little bit of contact there. Now Coffin trying to regain control for the Trojans. Bears able to break it out. Burton has Delianitas going to the net. Oh, tried to put it in front to her. And it comes back out to neutral here. The Bears are offside. Pettigrove, that was pretty much a move she had to make there, even yeah. though she knew it was going to be offside. She risked a turnover if she did anything fancy with it there at the blue line. Yeah, Blake is really pressing now, too. That's twice Delianitas, I thought, was really close to being offside. But she got that skate down just long enough. Sent to the Blake line and in off the stick of Abraham. Tip back out of there and this one will be an icing against the Bears as they deflected that puck but right short of the uh, center red line there. Quick observation here too on Blake's defense is really stepping up and attacking now a little bit more in the neutral zone, Jay. They're not letting Moisetta have freewheeling and uh, they've caused a number of turnovers here in these past you know, two to three minutes.
Trojans won the draw, but the shot attempt by Prodal was blocked. Tipped out to center and picked up there by Heyer. Rolls away, but Heyer plays it down deep. Now Blake able to get it out of there. Here's Higuchi taking the pass with speed through the neutral zone, but Sammy Hackley stood her ground and deflected it away. Sammy Hackley able to bring it, and it's going to squirt in on net there, and Haig will cover that one up. So 11.36 to go in the third. Wyzetta still holding a 3-2 lead here in the semifinal game in the Section 6 AA tournament. Right now, both teams' defense has really been disrupting play. I think that's why we're not having a lot of flow. They're really anticipating where the puck's going to be and stopping forwards flat. Penalty call coming up here against Blake. Going to be a cross check, and Burton did not like it. Be careful there. Don't want to get too demonstrative here. Oh, yeah. Kind of threw that hip around there and got on the boards. Kind of got a little bit demonstrative there, but. Well, is that on the power play now? We'll see if they can cash in. Oh. Matthews a shot. Oh, and Haig with a glove catch. Matthews got a clean look from about 15 feet in front of the net, but Haig won that battle. Wait. See the nice face-off win by Urban over to Branton, and then Matthews got exactly what they wanted there, but Haig was ready. Bears able to come up with possession here and clear it, and a bouncing puck, Wethington playing it to the outside. She has Delianitas with her, and... No call there. Urban trying to leave oh. it for Matthews, but instead bounced away. Wethington jumps in and takes it. Short-handed chance. And a stop by Bergeron. Wyzetta, a little bit careless with the puck near their own blue line. Whole lot careless there. A couple things. Wethington really just putting on a show, but boy, I'll tell you what. Wyzetta goalie did a great job staying up on the crease. Now watch what happens when this shot goes. Look where the goalie is. Look at that. Right on the edge of the crease, cutting the angle down. Wasn't much to shoot at. Matthews trying to go to Branton. That one broken up by Abraham. Carried in by Gage. And she'll knock it in deep as Wyzetta's Addy Hackley has to come back to get it. Hackley carries it into Blake's zone and oh, the shot oh. and then a rebound. Branton's shot was blocked. Hay had some trouble with the first one. She's kind of had an interesting night where she's made some really good saves but then also struggled yep. with a few shots as well. Oh, and a blocker save there on the try by Adalan. Kept in by Scoro. Now Branton able to get it to Coffin. Coffin already has two goals tonight. That one is blocked. Comes back to the point with it. Scoro will leave it for Coffin. Looking for the tip, and that one got all the way through, and a pad saved by Haig, and then cleared down the rink. As we're down to about uh, 10 seconds to go in the power play here for Wyzetta. They hold a 3-2 to two lead. We're under 10 minutes to play in regulation. Delianitas coming into the offensive zone here for Blake. Now Wethington retrieves it. Penalty is over. There's a shot on net from Delianitas. Berger on the save. So back to five aside here. Well, the big difference, too, I'm noticing between two goals is again, Bergeron, as we're noting, is outside that crease. And Haig has been really sitting inside that crease. You know, she can see she's not out on the edge. She's getting a little bit close to the net. Burton trying to dig that puck free, but Urban will come back to get it. And then intercepted by Burton. Burton's pass, though, got away from her, so we'll have to regroup at center here across to Blum.
Burton able to dig it free. Delianidis back for Burton. Now Urban trying to reverse it around for Schindler. Matthews tipping it ahead, but it's going to be icing here against the Trojans. And so with 8.35 to go here in the third, Wyzetta will have a defensive zone draw here as the Bears trying to generate some offense here and tie this thing up. And I expect after this line, that first line for Blake is going to come back out here. They started generating some real momentum here. You could almost feel the pressure being pushed in on Wyzetta here as they did a great job of forechecking. Didn't create a much opportunity, but it was close. Swing and a miss at it there. Higher carrying it in, but her shot sails wide. Didn't get much on that pass, and Addie Hackley able to keep it in. Pettigrew back to pick it up here for Blake. And that one bouncing up out of play. We'll get a faceoff coming up near center ice here. 7.57 remaining. And yep. now the here they come again. Bears top line does come out. Elianidis between Wethington and Burton. They're going to get some ice time this period, trust me. Battle for it here. Now Burton up with it for Delianitas. Tried to slip it over to Wethington, but went off a skate. And then bounced out. Tipped ahead. Here comes Matthews. Breakaway chance. Matthews trying to drag it back around Haig and couldn't quite put it away. Well, there's Haig again with one of those super special saves, like you said. She did a great job. There's Matthews in on her basically alone. Boy, and then Addie Hackley made a tremendous play to yes. poke check that one, or that would have been a breakaway the other way. Haig relaying it into the corner. Yeah, you could feel that Blake was starting to turn this thing around, and all of a sudden, Wazir just stepped up and hit him right in the mouth there, and uh, they're answering the call. Delianidis is shot blocked there. Higuchi to Wethington will throw it back into the Wyzetta zone. Scoro up with it. Tipped ahead. Pettigrove gathers it. Oh, and right into a Dolan. Now Higuchi gaining control for Blake. And that'll be offside as Bros reach back for that one and just couldn't quite stop her momentum. We'll see a good opportunity here coming in, man. Matthews is all by herself and just just tried to pull it, but Hag, Hag really spreads out really great. Look at them legs just really stretch out there and just take the angle away as she pushed toward the puck toward Matthews. Addy Hackley stops it at the line, able to chip it back out to center. Dump back into the YZ zone. Coffin back to pick it up for the Trojans. And they're able to get it out to the Blake Blue line here. Intercepted by Coffin. Too far for Branton though. Under six minutes to play now. Interception by Matthews. Matthews fires oh. and Haig. Boy, they needed that stop to keep them in the game. We're getting late enough now that if Wyzetta goes up two there, it might be tough comeback for Blake. And Haig made a nice stop. They're like two heavyweights here just going at each other. Great pickoff here again. And they've been doing this all night, this line by Wyzetta. Great snapshot, but Haig's glove hand has been really snap quick. Back to Sammy Hackley. That one blocked by Burton. But keep in mind, Wyzetta, even if they you know, don't get another goal, they keeping the puck in Blake's end is chipping away at that clock. Bergeron is going to cover this one up, and Hackley 
turning to protect her goaltender there with a little shot up high on well, Weathington. Weathington was coming in really hard on his on her goalie. I understand totally why she did it. Well, now you keep saying those words chip now. They're going to be chipping that. Boys, they're going to be chipping that puck out to neutral a lot here over the next five and a half minutes. Trojans win the draw. Battle for it behind the net, though. Now Urban will be first to it. And Adalin's going to ice this one Dang. here. Not exactly what they had in mind on that one. And it'll come right back into the YZ zone. 5-19 to play. And Blake trailing YZ 3-2. Urban's really stepped up her game here in the past five minutes for YZ. She's been all over the place and strong from both ends of the ice. Yeah, they made the decision to, to not have Urban, you know, on the line with Matthews and Branton to kind of give them a second strong line, too, and seems to have paid off. Here comes Matthews. Two-on-one chance for the Trojans. Pass tipped, and it bounced over Branton's stick. Now Branton, though, into the slot. And she'll dump it back down deep toward Matthews. Coffin jumps in to help out. Went back toward Branton, but the Bears get to it. But Coffin will come up with the loose puck. Now Delianitas sending it ahead. This puck rolling, and it is going to be an icing call. And back into the Blake zone we'll go. Here's another look at that two-on-one. Nice deflection here, and yes. then it just hopped over Branton's stick. Hard to, hard to make contact on a bouncing puck like that. Well, both teams are just answering each other back and forth so far in this period, and uh, it's been fun to watch. Trojans come away with a yes. shot and a goal. Sophie Heyer, and it's four to two. We finally got one up high and away from that glove side of Hag. That is a huge, huge goal. Gives them just a little more room here now as they try to close out this last four minutes and 18 seconds. Great effort by the Trojans. And they haven't backed down one bit tonight from the strong Blake team. Every time Blake started standing up and fighting back, the Trojans had an answer for him. Just by stopping the puck, making a good defensive player, just getting the puck down in the Blake zone and keeping it down there for a while. So higher getting her fifth goal of the season, and then that one is off the crossbar. Blake nearly answering. Well, Dealey and Edis in this line are something else to watch, I'll tell you. All right, now ice time management for YZ is going to be really important. You're on two game leads, two goal lead. They're going to need an effort from at least two lines here. Prodal getting the lone assist after winning that draw. So enormous goal for Hire, and it's 4-2. to two. Delianitas dropping it over toward Burton. And back out to center it comes. Thrown in and then back out. And a nice pickoff there by Wethington at center. Here's Burton. Burton shooting. That one directed away by... The uh, Trojans goaltender Bergeron. Race for it here. Blake gets her first. Now tipped over to Burton. Burton trying to bring it up the middle, but taken away by Matthews. Matthews carrying it here. Had it poke checked by Grace Johnson. 3-10 to play, Wyzetta up by two, trying to knock off Blake and get to the section six final. Adalan. Johnson takes it away. Now Wethington firing, Berger on the stop and they'll get an offensive zone draw. See if Blake maybe thinks about using a timeout here. No indication of that just yet. 
Yeah, yep, expect. now there is. <laughs> yep. I would expect in the next 10 to 20 seconds that goalie's coming out. Now they'll probably keep Higuchi's line out there right now just to get this started, and then when they pull that goalie, they're going to get that first line out for Blake here and, and put the pressure on. It's good to note that the Trojans' first line is getting a rest right now, too. Well, Friday night we'll be at Roseville Ice Arena as John Jacobson will join Dan for the Maple Grove Lane section final. And then at a Saturday afternoon boys hockey contest and uh, girls basketball action on Tuesday as Hopkins plays St. Michael Albertville and then boys hoops on Wednesday of next week as Izetta and Armstrong do battle. So some great action coming up here and uh, boy this could be a last uh, good last 250 of this one. Be interesting to see as Dan said you know what what, at what time frame they pull Molly Haig. Does not look like she's going to be out to begin this sequence here but I, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't pull him right now. But I bet if they win that face off, she's going to come out fast. Now, the fact that it's, the, the draw is in the other end would think, yeah. you'd make you think that it you know, really could do it right now. But okay, the heavy hitters are out there for the Bears, their number one line. And the number one line for the Trojans comes back out. Burton will take the draw against Coffin here. Keep in mind the Bears hit the crossbar just after Wyzetta scored that fourth goal. They can score in a hurry. This one is not over yet. Dump back out to center. And Sammy Hackley up with it and rolls it into the Blake zone. Good play. Make him go 200. Here's Sammy Hackley controlling the puck here. Hackley doing a nice job, strength on the puck there. Now the Bears finally come up with it. Delianitas flipping it ahead. Winters puts on the brakes here, almost taken away by Branton. And now it is knocked ahead to Branton. Haig is still in the net for Blake. Oh man, Matthews again, there she is. Pressure put on by Matthews as Blum. Didn't realize she was there. Didn't realize she was that close anyway. Now Delianita's up with it. She'll and throw it in and Haig goes to the bench. Empty net for Blake. Minute 45 to go. Wyzetta up by two. Oh. oh, and it hits the official, but they still get it out. Empty net to shoot at here for the Trojans. This one rolled down and will be an icing call. No, no. Waved it off. Waved it off. Burton coming back, tried to drag it around the defender there, but now the Bears get it back with Bur uh, Weddington. Higuchi, back up, oh, and it slips through Abraham. They'll have to regroup. Pettigrove giving it to Higuchi. And then Burton will have to chase this one down. Extra skater out for Blake, but they're running low on time. Here's a shot at the open net, and it's just wide by Urban. 50 seconds to go. Wyzetta leading it 4-2. to two. And Branton will intercept that. Up the middle. Coffin pushing it toward the net, and it's stopped. But Blake running out of time. Delianitas throwing it ahead. Sammy Hackley up with it and quickly right back out. Under 30 to go. Now Higuchi trying to drop it back. That one was broken up. Trojans can't get it out though. Hig Higuchi. Sammy Hackley with a block. 10 seconds to go. Back out to center and now Get a penalty coming up here, a little frustration. It'll be Grace Johnson sent to the box here for a check. I think she checked Hackley there, down there, but boy, what an effort by the Trojans, Jay. They've really just 
have mucked it up and they've just taken away the speed and the passing lanes of the Bears and, and they just have disrupted the way they play the game. Mason Bears just dump the thing in there and go get it. Use your speed to get around the Trojan players and they're just trying to make nice passes coming across the blue line. And now 6.8. Their, uh, their hopes are fading. Haig does come back in with the face off that near to the net. But going to probably not matter much at this point. There's that shot deflecting wide. Time ticking down, and it is Wyzetta winning it 4-2. to two. And the Trojans into the Section 6 final. Well, we called her. We said it before the game. Don't count the Trojans out. They've been playing with confidence. They put a 7-2 record coming into this. They're scoring goals. The power play was clicking. And uh, they had a great game plan coming in tonight. Like you said, we're going to be in their jerseys all night. And they certainly were. Their defense played very well. Bergeron was a big difference in this game. Goaltender for the Trojans. As they move on to face the Hornets for the uh, final. To get that next step to meet that goal they had when the, when the season started. So for Blake, uh, a disappointing ending to a very strong season here this evening. And uh, why is that a... Coming up with a strong performance here and able to win this one by a score of four to two. So Taylor and Dean Williamson and their staff and uh, players for YZ are going to be pumped up to play again in a couple nights as they will take on late conference rivalry Dinah for the Section 6 championship. We hope you've enjoyed this one here tonight from Parade Ice Garden. For Dan Ficken and all of our crew, I'm Jay Wilcox. Once again, your final is YZ 4. Blake, too.